Buenas tardes, que onda mi raza? You got it. If you can see the Sheraton, you know I'm in my hometown. <laughs> Not too much. We're over here in the city of industry. Well, I am. We are. We is. Nah, just kidding. We are today. And it's not a regular Amonos Recio. It's more like a quickie for you guys. Um, we went to the McDonald's Museum earlier today. So I decided to bring Suzette to the fake McDonald's out here on Green. So I decided to record my experience as well. Just to share with everybody. Just in case people don't know. ¿Qué onda? ¿Qué pasa acá atrás? So, for everybody that is not from this area and don't know too much about this fake McDonald's, obviously, this whole addition has been added back here. And it is gate 5. I started backwards. Um, crew and talent parking. Uh, from what I had heard or read, I should say, um, somewhere on the premises in the front, they used to keep a 45-foot trailer parked with every single uniform that has ever been made for McDonald's employees in every country and every era for the purpose being when they need to shoot any kind of commercial, they have it available for them to go ahead and you know access it to record and it's showtime um now there's a warehouse mcdonald's back here i'm not too sure what it is here's gate number four raza um i need to look further information to see exactly what is held back here because as you can see it's literally right next door to the fake mcdonald's and well this fake mcdonald's was built guys back in the late 70s for the purpose of exactly this having a secluded location to be able to film mcdonald's commercials so on the see it's very empty and secluded back here no i not in el pinche diablo se asoma because it's so lonely look it's saturday afternoon in nadie and i so what they say is that i guess at one point they had trees and planters out here that were in pots and pans that are 100 percent movable to adjust to every position available to make it look different and um the mcdonald's sign i guess it's that one i'll go down that way también Recently, they made a big old makeover on the building, so it could be exactly like the ones that are updated now. You know how everybody, or every McDonald's has a new look every so many years, so this is this one now. Um, the reason for it being so high up, they say, is so all the lights and recording gear fits up there, you know, like lights, camera, action. And there is also a basement here, guys. There is a basement underground where, in the heyday, they used to put um, the makeup. Makeup and, you know, all the actors used to get makeup down there and stuff. Um, this is what the side looks like right here. So, yeah, the basement has some costumes, makeup. They had the... Espejos con las pinches lucecitas on the top, everything else. And the whole restaurant doesn't have an actual french fry fryer or a soda machine. But they do have one in the back of the building, which would be over there. So when they do their long shoots and everything else, they can go ahead and eat food. But without all the smoke and the smell um, hitting up the front place where everybody's working. I guess they want to keep it um, professional. So here's the golden arches, guys. Here's the front. I'm standing outside gate number two. It's completely secluded back here. 
looks super nice. I believe the actual year it was brought up was like 1978, I think, or 77. It's off of Green Drive here by, um, I think that's Gale. <laughs> I haven't been out here in years, guys, so I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. But, yeah, this is the side. And it's funny because on the story I looked up said that when they first opened this building, people would actually come to try and, like, the drive through I guess, is on the other side, the fake drive through they wanted to order and they'd be honking and everybody's like no so i guess that's why they added these 10 foot gates here see gate number one mcdonald's production center not open to the public so you gotta push here and they buzz you in así como si fueran bien pinche importantes so ahí está raza that's it la fake mcdonald's you got it I believe this is where they cook. The drive through is probably on the other side. Y pusaita, you guys got it from me. La comadre B.